Yeah. What the, yeah. Oh, what's your question, sorry? Rea uh, Richard React, what do you yeah. think about fighting him? Yeah, uh, whenever he's ready, uh, I'm ready. I feel like, obviously, I'm the world champion. Obviously, I have to beat David Light, whatever. But it's like, I don't really need to call anyone out. Yeah, I've yeah. Ready, I, I heard he's call out. I was ready and willing, as always. Um, so it's just about whenever he, he believes he's ready to step up and take the fight. Um, but I think he's in a position where he kind of has options where, you know, it's weird because it's like yeah. you're a world champion here saying I'll fight you but you can maybe fight another person for a world title belt so it's an interesting one but we'll see yeah yeah because you know I feel like you know with your long ranging style because you get, you get criticized a lot. a lot of people say well you know Lawrence his style is awkward and he yeah. makes for boring fights but you know he's a guy that comes forward and likes to you know throw big right hands and things yeah, like that yeah we'll see we'll see when he's in there actually looking at me yeah. across the ring um, it's very easy when your like for example I know as a tall fighter when you're boxing short fighters mm -hmm. there's certain things you can do stick your arm out whatever um, and just kind of sit back and wait for certain shots and opportunities but against me he's going to have to be obviously switched on from distance as am I obviously um, you can still punch too people you know oh yeah I oh know of course I mean it's a bit weird but um, <laughs> Like, I mean, I've had 18 fights, 17 of them have been dropped in the fight, so it's like I can definitely punch, but um, that's irrelevant. Do you know what I mean, I think this fight it won't really come down to power, me versus Richard, it'll be other stuff that's going to come into factor. I think we all get a bit carried away with punching power, like I've done it myself, oh my god, it's not what Watson's all about. Um, but we'll see anyway. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, the only way to solve, I guess, a guy like React for having options is for you to start snatching up the titles, right? And I wish, but yeah. as we've seen, like, it's... It's hard. It's harder than it sounds. Bro, it's ridiculous. It's been two years, and it's like, I've been screaming for unifications, unifications never seem to happen. I've been in DMs, I've been doing whatever to try and make these fights happen, and no one seems to really want it. Like, that's as, as far as I can see, and no matter what people say stylistically, no matter what, you, like it's like, oh, why, why won't you fight them? Yeah, what's the hold up? What's up? No, because it's like I've had some of them. I've chatted them and they're like, oh. Who did you chat? Who did you chat to? I've chatted to every champion. Okay, this way, every single champion oh, okay. <laughs> I've spoken to, and like they all say similar things. I, like, because we, we be, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, going back and forth. Yeah, just and it'll all just be like, oh, you, I'm coming for you, and this. I'm like, what? When? <laughs> when are you coming? I feel like sometime this decade, me, hopefully. No, but it's like you're either waiting for it to be too hard for me to make the weight, or for me to put on a not great performance that you think, oh yeah, I can really, I can do something there. Or get see some vulnerability. Get a, a sense of security. You yeah, know? but it's like going, like bro, I don't feel secure against any of these guys. They're all good fighters. I just believe in myself. Mm -hmm. It's personal between me and I'm going to give you some serious arm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I don't know if I was living under a rock the last three or four days, but like I literally just heard about this, and it's February 19th now. So this happened like four days ago in the UK because uh, for those that don't know, uh, the movie Creed 3 is coming out soon, and they had the, the European premiere of Creed 3 out there in the UK. And... Um, then I was watching a Boxing Voice interview with Paco Varcarcel, and I heard my boy Danny from the Boxing Voice mention the fact that apparently Richard Reactpour and Lawrence Coley got into a scuffle at the at the premiere of the movie, right, right after seeing the movie. So they, they went, they went, they saw this great film or whatever, and then they uh, they went and they 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 started they started uh, exchanging words, and uh, there was a you know a bit of an exchange between the pair of them. Now this was news to me, so I looked it up, and, and now here I am making the video. Now. Lowen to Corey Redford react poor. This is a fight that's been bubbling up for a long time in the UK. Um, I just talked to I mean, Lawrence Cole was just here in South Florida, so I just seen him maybe like two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago or so, or, or so and I had interviewed him about this, as you guys saw in the beginning, the beginning of this clip of, of this video. And you know, there's he's fr I know for a fact because I've talked to Lawrence about it on and off camera. He's genuinely frustrated with his situation at Cruiserweight. A lot of these guys who got belts, Jay Opataya, Arsene Goulamarian, and um. Who's the other one? J.O. Bataya, Arsene Goulamarian, and I'm blanking out. Who's, who's the other champion, BT? J.O. Bataya, Arsene Goulamarian, and Makabu, of course. These guys, he's he's been in the DMs. He's been trying to, talking back and forth with them, and they haven't wanted, they haven't wanted to make the fights happen. And it's the same thing with Richard Yakpoi. Apparently, they've had back and forth on social media, and he tried to make the fights happen, and it hasn't happened. So now they had, they've had this little scuffle, and I, and, I, and I truly believe, just not even knowing the whole story, I truly believe that a lot. He saw. He probably saw Reactport there in the flesh, 
And all that frustration that's been building it, um, within himself as a champion, it bubbled out. And, and, and you, you, know, you had the scuffle that you guys saw. Now, this is a fight that I really want to see because I feel like Richard React poor talent-wise. He, you know, obviously he has, he's not a champion, so you can't call him the best. But as far as talent and skills and ability, you know, he's, he looks like he might be the best of the bunch, the best cruiserweight in the world, and if not, if maybe not the best cruiserweight in the UK based on talent and skills and what he's shown in the ring. But you can't dis disrespect the Coley because what he's done, someone has to knock him off that throne before they, call, before they call themselves the best cruiserweight in the world or even the best cruiserweight in the UK. So they have a score to settle. I want to see this fight. And apparently, uh, React Poor has had a lot to say about this in the media. Um, and he kind of gave his account of the situation. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to read you guys the whole quotes. So please bear with me and we will dissect from there. So here's what React Poor said about Lawrence Coley and their whole scuffle. He stated the following, and I quote, I was just catching up with a few friends of mine and I saw Lawrence just come out of nowhere and start talking to me. I felt disrespected that he came into my space and I just saw red. I don't, want, I don't know what happened after that. Everybody was just getting separated. I heard the clip is doing numbers. It's gone viral. It is what it is. The great thing about it was that nobody threw hands because we're professional boxers and we're supposed to conduct ourselves properly. It's not really a great look, but I can do better. I'm a human being. Same goes for Lawrence Acoli. But when we get in the ring, it's not going to be, uh, it's going to be 18 plus. It's not going to be PG. I can tell you that. And then he says, as far as beating Lawrence Acoli, he stated that, I quote, absolutely. I feel like that's my destiny. Until I fight him, I wouldn't have accomplished my goals in boxing. I've always believed I'm number one and I'm willing to prove it. Of course, I'm the best easily. I I think I would get him out of there within six rounds for sure. I'd say well done for getting me out of my character. And you'll see one day in the ring, you will pay for what you have done. So mm, 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 mm. some harsh, tactful, clear and concise words from, you know, Richard React Poor himself about Lawrence Coley. I, 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 you know, this to me is one of the fights to make in the cru cruiserweight division. Now, we can't get ahead of ourselves. Lawrence Coley has a mandatory defense due against David Light, who just beat Brandon Glenton in a very boring fight. But if Lawrence takes care of what he's supposed to do against David Light, then this should be the next fight because, you know, I, Rick Riakpo has an amazing resume. He's beaten the guy likes of Chris Bindle Smith and, and Christoph Kovaki and I believe Ty McCarthy as well. I mean, he's got a great resume for a guy without a belt. So he needs, he, he needs to get a shot. And I feel like this fight... When we talk about the great fights domestically in the UK that could be made in any weight class, this, this, this to me would rank up there as one of the top, if not the top fight out there, apart from like, you know, the heavyweight fights, of course. I think it promoted right, this fight could really do a lot of numbers because there seems to be a really, really uh, genuine dislike there between Akoli and Reactpour. And um, I think even style-wise, believe it or not, like, because everyone always cracks on Akoli for his style and he's not like, I'm, I'm not going to cap, like... I was live here on YouTube for this fight against Michael Cheslack. This shit was a boring fight, you know. Lawrence Acoli has had some fights as a champion, as a contender, where you know he's just stunk the joint out. But now, you know, you look at him now, and I was privy to see him work with Sugar Hill Stewart, you know, the great trainer. Um, I feel like it's gonna be good for him, and I feel like he's, you're you're gonna see some things actually be cleaned up in his style, and you're gonna see Lawrence Acoli become a more dominant fighter. I, I I do think that I think he's gonna mature under the guidance of Sugar Hill Stewart because. For one, Lawrence is a humble guy and he's a willing learner. Two, Sugar Hill Stewart is a great teacher of the sport of boxing. And three, um, I just feel like his style, his dimensions, and his frame is perfect for what Sugar Hill Stewart likes to teach, which is power punching and um, boxing fundamentals. You know, so um, this fight is actually stylistically even a better fight than people realize, um, and it will be. But by the time they they're, they're able to fight, so. Um, yeah, man, that's the news. Lawrence and Coley, Richard React, they got on two. They, 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 were, they were about to throw them hands at Creed 3. So, uh, yeah, man, let me, let, me, let me know what you guys think for my British viewers because I know, I know I have a lot of them. You know, shout out to, first of all, shout out to you guys. You guys are, are lovely. Um, let me know what you guys think. You know, who are you favoring if these two square off? If they fight anytime soon, you know, are you going to react poor, who is showing a great boxer, puncher, flashy style, hard, sharp, steak knife, you know, straight right hand. Or you going with Lawrence Acoli, a guy that, you know, maybe he is the most entertaining, but he knows who he is in that boxing ring, and he fights within himself, and he does what he needs to do to win. Who are you guys favoring and why? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. Thank you guys for all the support. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here. And make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.